September 16th is the grand finale for 2023. After that, the season of biological warfare will be upon us. Make plans to be at Union Temple Baptist Church, Washington, D.C., Saturday, September 16th, 2023. Doors open at 10 a.m. Delicious plant-based soul food and dessert from food activist Dr. Ruby Lathan and my keynote lecture for the grand finale, Tuskegee 2023 Part 3, The Weaponization of Food Against the Black Community. Woo! Get your tickets now. The Minister of Wellness.com under Health Seminars. Or call or text 888-847-8026. That's 888-847-8026. 847-8026. On one of my videos, somebody posted a uh, usual typical comment from Awakened Israel or Christian or whoever, and they said, well, when it comes to fish, Minister of Wellness, the Most High gave us, he, he allows us, we are allowed to eat meat in the Bible, and then they'll take you to Leviticus 11 and so forth to prove that the Most High allowed us to eat meat. It is the stupidest response in the world, the stupidest response in the world to to respond in your flesh like that, because that's all that's coming from. When you look at the decrepit, pathetic health condition of black people, Christian, Hebrew, Israelite, Muslim, whatever, you look at conscience, how how horrible our health is. What you would, a logical sane person would just take a step back before pulling out some scriptures from an era that, that, that don't even, that you're not even living anymore. You're living nothing like the era from when that was written. You think you would take a step back and think first before you open your mouth and try to justify the consumption of something as toxic and dangerous as fish and animal flesh for a people that are on the brink of going extinct because of disease. But when your God is your stomach, you can't think that way. You know, you're right. You're right, though. But the Bible also says in the book of Joshua that the the most high allows you to die. He allows you to choose death. So what, what does that really mean? What does that prove when you say that, when you respond to to me like that or anybody that's teaching health and healing our people. We have thousands of success stories. Those of us who follow and teach the real dietary laws, which are found, which you can see and found all throughout even the corrupted Catholic scriptures that we've been given. You can still find all those principles. I can prove nutrient dense plant rich eating with the scriptures we have that most of us have been brainwashed into believing are these scriptures, the 66 books plus the Apocrypha, I can prove nutrient-dense plant-rich eating style. I've done that in all my slave theology. I can even do it simply using the New Testament, and I will continue to do so. But yeah, the Most High allows you to die. So what does that mean, that he allows you to eat meat? Yeah, he does. He does. You're allowed to die. You're allowed to choose death and life. You're allowed to have sex with who you want to have sex with, when you want to have sex. No one is forcing you to do anything. You are allowed to to choose to serve Satan. That's why Satan gave Yahshua a choice. So what does that really mean when you make a stupid that you allowed us to do so? Even Paul, even Paul, the one that everybody used to commit gluttony, even he, with all of his sometimes confusing writings where you, where you, where you have to really decipher what this man was talking about and who he was talking to, even he said in 1 Corinthians 10, verse 31, he said, He said, all things are lawful for me, but all things are not expedient. All things are lawful, but all things edify not. In a a more in a more update English version, he said, yeah, I'm allowed to do anything, but not everything is good for you. Even Paul said that. Now, why would Paul just stop there? If why would the most high want you to do something that's not good for you? And so James, who was the brother of Yahshua, walked with Yahshua knew Yahshua, ordained by Yahshua, much more closer, intimate relationship with Yahshua. He put the stamp on it that Paul should have said. He said, no. So therefore, if you know that it's good for you and you don't do it, that is a sin. 
See, Paul just stopped, said, oh, well, you know, yeah, I'm allowed to do everything, but that doesn't mean everything's good for you. And James said, OK, then, well, if you know it's not good for you to eat no toxic mercury fish, if you know it's not good to eat fish and dairy and animal flesh, because we can see what it does to the body. We can see now in 2022, how it stiffens your blood vessels, how it drops mucus and plaque right into your blood vessels. If you know that. And you know that it's better to get your protein, carbs and fat from fresh fruits and vegetables. You know, you feel better. You know, our people will be healthier. You see the healing success stories. You know it and you still refuse to do it. And you're trying to hide behind some instructions that was written 5,000 years ago to a stiff neck, rebellious people. When you know in the beginning, when our people were living five, six, seven, eight hundred years old, what they were eating, it's a sin. Repent of your food addiction or you're going to suffer and die. You want to stick, you want to stick to those, to the choose life or death instructions that were given to our stiff neck people in Leviticus chapter 11. You're going to stay fat and you're going to stay sick. For those of you all who don't want to stay fat and sick, let's eat the medicine foods of God and medicine foods, according to the Holy Scriptures, are only fruits and vegetables. 26 Biblical Principles to Eradicate Obesity and All Disease book, Lose 100 Pounds in 100 Days book. Purchase those books today. If you have not already, click the link in the description box, healing manuals on how to eat to live. The description box also contains tons of of other detailed free health seminars to help you in your healing journey. This is the final week for the fundraiser family. Please help the ministry. We need to finish this month strong. All month, I have been running a 40% off promo code on every single product to raise desperately needed funds for critical ministerial expenses. I've even added free shipping. This is the final week. Plus, over 30 different herbal extracts are going away for good due to downsizing. The Minister of Wellness.com promo code June 2023. The Minister of Wellness.com promo code June 2023. Or check the pinned comment section for all the links. Books, sea moss, vitamins, herbal extracts. Get something for yourself or family and friends. Thank you very much for your love and support during this difficult time. If you want to give to the ministry outside of purchasing products, we have many ways to accept your tithes and love offerings. Due to censorship, we are not receiving a dime for these videos being pumped out daily, not one cent. We have critical missionary trips that cost thousands of dollars. If there was ever a time for your kindness to sow a seed into this life-saving ministry, it is now. Cash app is dollar sign Minister of Wellness. That's dollar sign Minister of Wellness. We have PayPal, Zelle. We accept checks, money orders, credit cards. Please visit theministerofwellness.com forward slash give. Theministerofwellness.com forward slash give and help us. You can't super chat me anymore, family. They strip thousands of dollars from us. We need your help. May the Lord God of Israel richly bless all who help us during this difficult season.